All right. So I will never forget because the score before that was um, I actually rushed it in. It was an option, right? And we hadn't shown much option all, all game, really. And so on the, you know, seven, nine yard line, whatever it was, when I don't know if that play was actually called. And I can't remember. And Hank, you might be able to remember more than I do, but I don't know if that play was actually called. I think that, that me and Hank, that I checked the play to that because Hank had single coverage, all right, that he had been owning this guy all game. And it was one of those moments where, yeah, a field goal is not going to win it because we couldn't stop Brad Smith. Um, and um, we had to score. And we had the wide side of the field out off to the left, Hank, if you remember. And that guy was straight up on him, maybe even a little inside on him. And, I mean, it was kind of one of those things where we just knew what was going to happen. And, and that guy hadn't stopped Hank all night. And it just threw a nice, easy fade up high to a seven-foot high jumper, you know, and let him go get it. And after that touchdown, you're right. I mean, it was um, – it was deaf. It was eerily quiet, and all you could hear was the 400 crazy Lobo fans up in the nosebleeds. It was pretty incredible. I'll, hey, I'll give you chills because you are right. Because I remember when the play came in. I, I I remember when it came in, dude. Now, like sitting here talking about it, it was not a fade. It was not no. a fade. No, it was. A, I believe it was like you were going to run the option to the short side of the field. It, it was either that or it was a sprint out, like a flood, right? Trying to get everyone going with a sprint out, trying to find someone open. Um, oh, yeah, man. dude, yeah. So, so so we had the white side of the field, and it was – I mean, just one of those things where it was kind of a no-brainer. Like, was, you know, look, look at that pass. I mean – Single coverage, single coverage. Like, Hank's going to go get it. Oh, uh, <laughs> dude, like, when it, Cole, it was one of those moments in the huddle where Cole was like, Get open. I was like, we got nine yards, but okay, I'll get open. <laughs> and, hey, you got to show that again, Frank, man. Like, that's, that's just – oh, yeah, that's the, that was full talking trash mode. Yeah. That, was, that was just like I, – I was, I was feeling at that moment the same way as the – look at this throw, dude. Look at that. Look at that throw. You couldn't – I have, mean, when they say I mean, it was, on, it hey, was rewind perfect. That, Frank. Frank, rewind that. Look at it that throw motion. When they say throw it to the pylon. Look at this ball. If I don't catch it, that ball is going to hit the pylon. Goes out of bounds. Yeah. God dang, dude. That was – right then I was feeling like I did the year before when we beat Texas Tech. After all the trash they were publicly talking. Yeah. You know, they, we always talk – you know, Coach Long would always say, to, you know, go out there and just hit them in the mouth. Don't go out there talking trash and this and that because you're going to be the one that looks bad. If you out there bumping your gums all day long and you get hit in the mouth, especially, especially in your house, and that's what we did. They were talking all week, and I still remember, uh, I believe it was Pinkle, his comments after we were done. He said, Hank who? He, he literally told everybody he didn't even game plan for me because all, all they had to worry about was Dontrell. Yeah. And I remember that went in the magazine or the newspaper, and that just made me happy right there. <laughs> 